Hello YouTubers, I'm playing around with some preamplifiers. This is a BL Audio battery powered transformer based preamplifier and this is a Trio preamplifier. This is um, conventional construction, there's nothing particularly noteworthy about this. Um, this is slightly more unusual. I've been playing around with them and doing some A-B comparisons and I have to be honest, I very much prefer the sound from the BL Audio. So I thought I'd do a quick presentation of this. Specifically this is a BL Audio or Blaudio LP1 Mark II preamplifier. It's Chinese made, but don't let that put you off, it's um, a high-end preamplifier. It is a two-piece unit um, with the main unit there and the off-board or out-board power supply there. At the rear of the main unit you have a pair of RCA inputs and outputs. And on the main unit it can also be used as a headphone amplifier. The power supply contains two sets of batteries where one is used to power the main unit whilst the other is being recharged. You can select which set of batteries to recharge by this switch at the rear. The charger here, um, which can be from 20 to 24 volts, uh, charges the batteries up and they power the main unit. But that, as a result, the main unit is completely isolated from the alternating current which means it doesn't receive any AC grunge which is the main bonus of using batteries to power hi-fi equipment. The front of the power supply contains a on-off toggle switch and a three-way switch here. This selects the batteries to power the main unit and uh, monitor the power of the batteries via this VU meter. If you select the middle position, the VU meter is deselected, which saves um, battery power. The preamplifier is um, interesting in its construction. I looked at the website, and the way they describe this is to say it's a battery power buffer derived step up transformer. Again, it's all to do with trying to eliminate AC power grunge, which can degrade sound in various ways. Um, I have to admit, from my listening, um, the sound stage, or rather the background to the sound stage, is um, silent, um, exceptionally so. It's not until I do a comparison to another preamplifier that you realize that um, there is some. Uh, grain in the sound of a typical preamplifier which is completely absent from this. Anyway that was a very quick presentation of a rather interesting preamplifier. I'm going to give you a quick demo. Um, that's connected to this very nice exposure amplifier. Um, this I'm going to keep. It needs a good clean and um, possibly a respray but uh, that I'm keeping. And from there, we're going to go into my test speakers, which are some leak speakers. In essence, patterns of the sages of the lessons in the pages of the ancient books, the weapons of the mages, respected to the ages of professional and praises, teeth and pressing in the raiment of the ex-winner. 